Mr. Mohammad Aziz Khan, Mr. Zunaid Ahmed Paluk MP, and Mr. Mohammad Farid Khan. Thank you very much. Now I would like to request the Honorable Managing Director and CEO, Mr. Muhammad Ariful Islam, to join the stage and share his welcoming speech. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and shubho shundha. Amra amader ee unushthane shuru te shoran korchi bhasha andaloner shohid der ebong tadir ruher magfirat kamana korchi. Amra khoma prathi jachke unushthane te English e shonchalan korat jannam. Jehetu amader achke prothan event এর অংশীদার বাংলা লিংক ডিজিটাল কমিউনিকেশনস একটা বহুজাতিক প্রতিষ্ঠান এবং তাদের গেস্টের সম্মানার্থে আমরা অনুষ্ঠানটি ইংলিশে সঞ্চালন করছি সো অনারেবল গেস্টস লেডিজ এন্ড জেন্টলম্যান আসসালামু আলাইকুম এন্ড ভেরি গুড ইভিনিং টু ইউ অল आवर সিনসিয়ার হার্টফেল থ্যাঙ্কস টু অল অফ ইউ টু জয়েন আস টুডে টু সেলিব্রেট দ্য ফার্স্ট টাওয়ার অ্যাকুইজিশন in the history of telecommunication in Bangladesh. We are really honored today that we have among us Honorable State Minister of Post Telecommunication and ICT, Mr. Junaid Ahmed Pollock, MP, as our chief guest. He has been pivotal in the development of ICT in Bangladesh over the last decade. We are also honored by the presence of our special guests Secretary ICT Division, Mr. Mohammad Samsul Arifin, Special Guest, Chairman, BTRC, Engineer Mohammad Moyuddin Ahmed, Special Guest, Khan Tarziglu, Group CEO of Beyond, Special Guest, Mohammad Aziz Khan, our very dear visionary leader and founder chairman of Summit Group of Companies, and our Honorable Chairman, of Summit Communications Group, Mr. Mohammad Farid Khan. One of our special guests in the card you have seen, Secretary Post and Telecommunication Di Division, Mr. Mohammad Abu Hena Morshad Jaman. He could not attend due to his mother's illness and he has expressed his best wishes for the program. We are also honored to join by senior officials from ministry BTRC, ICT division, management of different banks, business partners, stakeholders, members from media. Finally, to mention that our partner, our comrade, our friends in telecom is the management of Bangla Link and the team of Bangla Link. Can you give a round of applause for the guests? I will take a few minutes just to give my speech <clears throat> over, over these few decades we have been seeing the development of telecommunication all over the country. While we are using this mobile phone in digital space, we started to reside more in digital space than the real world nowadays. Say it office, say it at home, say it everywhere. And this digital space we are residing, the front-end players who are serving us on a day-to-day -day basis through mobile phone, through internet, through broadband, are the telecommunication operators, mainly the mobile operators, um, cable TV operators, ISPs, 
and also the OTT players and the internet content providers. So they are the one who are serving the customers. While they are serving the customer, there is a huge ecosystem working behind the scene. So while we are seeing that we are residing on a digital world, there is a massive work processes, massive platforms, massive systems, massive softwares, huge amount of data, now coming artificial intelligence and robotics and virtual reality and all those kind of things working behind the scene. So henceforth, for these front-end players, like mobile operators, ISPs, TV operators, OTT players, for them it's continuously becoming difficult that how much they will focus on serving the customers, serving their ever-changing need and demand of the customers, or they will look after the back-end huge ecosystem. And a good portion of the back-end huge ecosystem is the infrastructure. So this fiber, tower, data center, submarine cable, and the big cloud content delivery networks. So these are the infrastructure of the modern day world. And companies like Amazon, Microsoft, it's becoming that 50% of their revenue coming from these, some of these infrastructures. So we saw this dream, our honorable chairman of the group, Mr. Mohammad Aziz Khan, and our uh, communication group's chairman, Mr. Farid Khan, saw this dream about 14 years ago in 2009. They wanted to build this digital infrastructure for this country, while the, globally there has been a lot of digital infrastructure. And I have also personally joined them in that shared dream. And over these last 14 years, we have built, we have managed to build the infrastructure all over the country, the fiber optic of 55,000 kilometer span, and some of some of lot of our industry colleagues as well as um, socially people ask how can 55,000 kilometer be there in a 300 to 350 kilometer span a country. So there are a lot of backbone fibers and there are a lot of loops. So it goes in ring and ring in everywhere in every districts, every upojelas and every unions. So these loops are creating a huge kilometer of fiber that gets close to your house or road or in the highways. So <clears throat> over these 14 years, we have been building fiber, and then we have built the gateway. We are serving internet uh, through the internet gateway over 35% of the country's demand. And recently, we started building towers since 2020. And we have built 2,500 towers. And with this great acquisition of Bangladesh Towers, we have become 4,500 tower company today. And with this. Um, a deal today with Bangla Link. This is a great deal, I would say, in my personal finance background. Uh, this deal has some unique features. If I tell three or four unique features, one is this is a very long-term contract, 12-year contract, and will be renewed in future with a mutual understanding. With this deal, Bangla Link will continue to have their services as before, hopefully even better. So Bangla Link has managed to convince us to serve them with a better service level than the industry which are being served today. And also, there will be huge synergy of fiber and tower. So we have, we have managed to strike a deal whereby we will provide both fiber and tower, whereas Bangla Link is being the fastest um, digital and data service provider in the country. So we want to empower Bangla Link with the best quality infrastructure. Also, there is a condition in the clause that we will be having a solar to reduce the carbon footprint, thereby being more environment friendly. And that's, that's also a commitment to the society. So all in all, this is a great deal. And we are very proud of it. And we are more than grateful to Bangla Link team and the management for doing this welcoming deal with us. Finally, I want to thank our team, our summit communication and our team. Uh, honestly speaking, whenever I try to talk about our team, I get a goosebump because I, I in my whole uh, 27 years lifetime, I could not get a better team than this. And just to start with, uh, this tower deal was led by Ms. Fadia Khan, our board director. <laughs> An amazing lady with an unwavering capacity to negotiate a very big deal. So, and she was supported by three musketeers, um, uh, 
Nuri Alam Siddiqui, Shantanu Shah, and Tamid. And in addition, you will see our CXOs of Tower team and the Summit communication team. The reason I get a goosebump uh, talking about this team is because uh, when we started back in 2009, all the mobile operators, ISPs, had their own fiber. They had their own towers. So actually, industry did not need us. In 2009, industry penetration was over 50%. So it was getting towards maturity. So in a mature industry, how come a new company can take birth as an infrastructure operator when the infrastructures are already there? So with this team, we moved the mountain. So today, we have managed to really reach our dream. And in one year time, probably we will have submarine cable up and running, and we'll truly have the end-to-end -end digital infrastructure for the country. So with that note, thank you. We are very eager to hear from our honorable guests. So looking forward to hear from them. Thank you very much. Good evening to you all. Thank you, sir, for your valuable remarks. Now I would like to invite Mohammed Shamsul Arifin, Secretary, ICT Division, to share his thoughts. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum and good evening. Before my speech, I would like to pay my deepest regards to our father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Majur Rahman, and the martyrs, those who sacrificed their lives, both the language movement and the war of independence. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to all of you gathered here today, especially to our esteemed chief guest, Mr. Junaid Ahmed Palok, MP, Honorable State Minister of Post, Telecommunications and Information Technology. A special guest, Engineer Mohammad Mohiuddin Ahmed, Chairman BTRC, Mr. Mohammad Aziz Khan, Founder Chairman of Summit Group of Companies, as honored guest. Mr. Mohammad Farid Khan, Chairman Summit Communication Group. I stand before you today with a heart filled with pride and excitement as Summit Towers Limited unveils a monumental milestone in its journey the successful acquisition of 2012 towers from Banglalink Digital Communications Limited, marking the first tower acquisition in Bangladesh. This momentous occasion not only signifies a significant step forward for summit towers, but also represents a landmark moment in the telecommunications landscape of our beloved nation. The acquisition of 2012 towers hold immense significance for Bangladesh, as it will contribute to the enhancement of network coverage, quality, and reliability across the nation. Improved telecommunications infrastructure is crucial for driving economic growth, fostering innovation, and empowering communities. With these towers in place, we can look forward to a future where every citizen has access to reliable and high quality telecommunications services enabling them to connect, communicate, and thrive in an increasingly digital world. As we celebrate this momentous achievement, let us also reaffirm our commitment to 
innovation, excellence, and sustainability in all our endeavors. Together, let us continue to push the boundaries of possibility and shape a future where connectivity knows no bounds. In conclusion, I would like to once again congratulate Summit Towers Limited on this remarkable achievement and commend Banglalink Digital Communications Limited for their collaboration and partnership. Together, let us continue to push the boundaries of innovation, collaboration, and excellence as we work towards building a brighter, more connected future for the people of Bangladesh. Thank you all. Thank you. Joy Bangla, Joy Bangabandhu, Bangladesh. Thank you, sir, for your valuable remarks. Now, I would like to invite Engineer Mohammad Mohyuddin Ahmed, Chairman, BTRC, to share his remarks. Assalamu alaikum and good evening. Honorable State Minister, Mr. Junaid Ahmed Polo, Chairman, Group Chairman, Summit, Mr. Ajis Khan, Secretary, Mr. Secretary, ICT Division, Chairman, Summit Communication Limited, Mr. Farid Khan, and uh, Mr. Khan from Bangla Link, and others, all high official from all others industries related to telecommunication and other, all other honorable guests. Thank you for inviting me as a special guest of this event, which is my milestone for Summit Towers Limited. As a tower sharing company, I am very much delighted to be a part of this but I would ask you to excuse me to give my speech in Bangla since it is February. In this month, we shed blood to be able to speak our mother tongue. I will continue my rest of this speech in Bangla. Thank you. Ami it tower sharing air license air kisu BTRC pokhute kisu statistics among history to lead to chai. The asker jobustanta, she obustane Amadir Juno, Desher Juno Kun Podjai, a Desher Telecom subscriber de Juno, Amra Kun Estage Akon Botomani Achi. Tower is Tabunikete, Tower is Shati Shampik. তো সকল রিসোর্সেস রিসোর্সেস যাতে যথাযথ ব্যবহার নিশ্চিত হয় এবং ঘনবসতিপূর্ণ বাংলাদেশের অবকাঠামের সুষ্ঠু ব্যবহার নিশ্চিত করার জন্য গত পহেলা গত 2018 সালের নভেম্বরের 1 তারিখে সরকারের অনুমোদন ক্রমে চারটি প্রতিষ্ঠানের অনুকূলে টাওয়ার শেয়ারিং লাইসেন্স প্রদান করা হয় গ্রাহক সেবাকে অধিকতার শাস্ত্রই মানসম্মত ও টেলিযোগাযোগ নেটওয়ার্কের পরিবেশ বান্ধ এই গাইডলাইনের অন্যতম উদ্দেশ্য ছিল টাওয়ার কো অপারেটররা টাওয়ার শেয়ারিং লাইসেন্স প্রাপ্তির পর মোবাইল অপারেটর ও টাওয়ার কো অপারেটরদের মধ্যকার সার্ভিস লেভেল এগ্রিমেন্ট যেটাকে আমরা এসএলএ বলি প্রস্তুতি নিয়ে বিভিন্ন রকম জটিলতা সৃষ্টি হয়েছিল সেই জটিলতা নিরসনে 2020 সালের 3রা মার্চ এই বিটিআরসি সহায়তায় ও মধ্যস্থতায় 
BTRC থেকে একটি সার্ভিস লেভেল এগ্রিমেন্ট জারি করা হয় সবার সকল স্টেক হোল্ডারদের মতামতের ভিত্তিতে পরবর্তীতে সামিট টাওয়ার লিমিটেড একে একে সকল মোবাইল নেটওয়ার্ক অপারেটরদের সাথে সার্ভিস লেভেল এগ্রিমেন্ট সম্পাদন করেছে এদিকে এজন্য সামিট টাওয়ারকে বিটিআরসি এর পক্ষ থেকে আমি শুভেচ্ছা জানাচ্ছি বর্তমানে মোবাইল ও টাওয়ার কো অপারেটরদের নিজস্ব মালিকানা দিন মোট টাওয়ারের সংখ্যা 44115 টি অর্থাৎ আমাদের দেশে এখন টাওয়ার কো এবং মোবাইল অপারেটরদের টোটাল টাওয়ার 44115 টি এর মধ্যে মোবাইল নেটওয়ার্ক অপারেটরদের মালিকানা টাওয়ারের সংখ্যা 22157 টি এবং টাওয়ার কোষ প্রতিষ্ঠান সমূহের মালিকের দিন টাওয়ারের সংখ্যা 21958 টি এই অল্প সময়ে এই অ্যাচিভমেন্টটি কিন্তু খুব কম নয় যদিও আমরা 100% অ্যাচিভমেন্ট আশা করি এবং করার চেষ্টা করছি কিন্তু এই এতটা জটিলতা কাটিয়েও এখন কিন্তু টাওয়ার কোর হাতে 21958 টি টাওয়ার এখন আছে টোটাল 44115 টি টাওয়ারের মধ্যে বর্তমানে মোবাইল ও টাওয়ার কো অপারেটরদের সামিট টাওয়ার লিমিটেড চারটি মোবাইল অপারেটরদের সাথে এসএলএ সম্পাদন করে তাদের অপারেশনাল কার্যক্রম শুরু করেছে এবং ডিসেম্বর 23 এর তথ্য অনুযায়ী 2190 টি নতুন সাইট নির্মাণ করেছে এজন্য আমি সামিট টাওয়ারকে বিটিআরসি এর পক্ষ থেকে আরেকবার ধন্যবাদ জানাচ্ছি এর মধ্যে 433 টি টাওয়ার প্রতিষ্ঠানটি অন্যান্য মোবাইল অপারেটরদের সাথে শেয়ার করেছে যে আমাদের গাইডলাইনের মূল উদ্দেশ্যই কিন্তু এই লাইসেন্সের নামই ছিল টাওয়ার শেয়ারিং সেই টাওয়ার শেয়ারিং এ অলরেডি সামিট 433 টি টাওয়ার অন্যান্য মোবাইল অপারেটরদের সাথে শেয়ার করেছে মোবাইল অপারেটরদের মালিকানা দিন টাওয়ার সমূহ টাওয়ার কো রেজিমে শেয়ারিং এর লক্ষ্যে উন্মুক্ত করার জন্য বিটিআরসি হতে সামিট ও অন্যান্য মোবাইল অপারেটরদের মধ্যকার পাঁচটি ত্রিপক্ষীয় চুক্তির অনুমোদন প্রদান করা হয়েছে সে সকল ত্রিপক্ষীয় চুক্তির আওতায় ডিসেম্বর 23 এর তথ্য অনুযায়ী সামিটের মাধ্যমে 345 টি সাইটের শেয়ারিং করা হচ্ছে টাওয়ার শেয়ারিং গাইডলাইন মোতাবেক মোবাইল অপারেটরদের মালিকানা দিন টাওয়ার সমূহ টাওয়ার কো অপারেটরদের নিকট বিক্রির সুযোগ রয়েছে সেই সুবাদে বাংলা লিংকের আজকের যে সামিট যে সেলিব্রেটিং প্রোগ্রামটি অনুষ্ঠানটি করছে মূলত এই 212 টি সাইট সামিট বাংলা লিংক থেকে ক্রয় করেছে এটাও কিন্তু সামিটকে আমি বিটিআরসি এর পক্ষ থেকে ধন্যবাদ জানাই কারণ এতটা বড় অঙ্কের টাওয়ার কেনার মতো সক্ষমতা সামিট দেখিয়েছে যা বাংলাদেশের আগামী দিনের স্মার্ট বাংলাদেশ বিনির্মাণে টাওয়ার শেয়ারিং এর মধ্য দিয়ে যে নেটওয়ার্ক সৃষ্টি হবে সেই নেটওয়ার্ক আগামীতে যে মাননীয় প্রধানমন্ত্রীর আকাঙ্ক্ষা স্মার্ট বাংলাদেশ সেটা বিনির্মাণে অনেক অংশই সহায়ক হবে বলে আমি বিটিআরসি চেয়ারম্যান হিসেবে মনে করি 2012 টি সাইট সাবমিট করতে অধিগ্রহণের প্রতিষ্ঠানটি মোট টাওয়ারের সংখ্যা 4229 টি হয়েছে যদিও টোটাল টাওয়ার সংখ্যার তুলনায় এটি খুব বড় একটি অঙ্ক নয় তবু আমি মনে করি এই অল্প সময়ের মধ্যে এবং অনেক প্রতিকূলতা সৃষ্টি হয় আপনারা এখানে যারা উপস্থিত আছেন আমরা আপনারা সবাই কিন্তু মোবাইলের একজন গ্রাহক 
যখন একটি টাওয়ার স্থাপন করতে আপনারাই কমপ্লেন করেন এই এরিয়ায় এই জায়গায় নেটওয়ার্ক থাকে না আমরা যখন টাওয়ার বিনির্মাণের জন্য প্রচেষ্টা চালাই যখন টাওয়ার কোকে টাওয়ার তৈরি করার জন্য আমরা নির্দেশনা দেই তখন দেখা যায় বিভিন্ন রকমের সমস্যার কথা বলে আসলে যে সমস্যাগুলো সমস্যা নয় যেটা আমরা প্রতিনিয়ত আমরা টেস্ট করে প্রমাণ করছি যে যে রেডিয়েশনের কথা বলে অনেক জায়গায় কিন্তু টাওয়ার করা যাচ্ছে না সেই জায়গাটায় কিন্তু আমি বলতে চাই আমাদের দেশের রেডিয়েশনের মাত্রা এখনো বিশ্বের অনেক উন্নত দেশের চেয়েও অনেক নিচে আছে যেটা কোনোভাবেই মানুষের দেহের জন্য ক্ষতিকর নয় কাজী না বুঝে এই টেলিকম যে নেটওয়ার্ক সারা বাংলাদেশি সারা বাংলাদেশ ব্যাপী আমরা চেষ্টা করছি করার জন্য যে যার সার্ভিস এদেশের প্রত্যেকটি সাবস্ক্রাইবার যেন সুন্দরভাবে আন ইন্টারাপ্ট এবং কোয়ালিটিফুলভাবে সার্ভিসটি পায় সে জায়গায় আপনারা সহযোগিতা করবেন এবং সামিট আজকে যে এই অল্প সময়ে চারশো চার হাজার দুইশো উনত্রিশটি টাওয়ার টোটাল আজকে দুইশো বারোটি নিয়ে যে মালিক হয়েছে এদেশের জনগণকে এদেশের টেলিকম সাবস্ক্রাইব সাবস্ক্রাইবারদেরকে সাপোর্ট দেওয়ার জন্য এটা এইটি যেন আরও উত্তরোত্তর বৃদ্ধি করতে পারে দুই হাজার বারোটি সাইট বিক্রয়ের অর্থ বাংলা লিঙ্ক তাদের নেটওয়ার্কের মান উন্নয়নের জন্য বিনিয়োগ করবে বলে আশা করি এখানে বাংলা লিঙ্কের হাই অফিসিয়াল আছেন বিশেষভাবে মিস্টার কান হি ইজ ট্রাভেলিং টু ডে মর্নিং লং ডিস্টেন্স টু ঢাকা সো হি হ্যাজ সো ইন্টেনশন টু ইনভেস্ট বাংলাদেশ মোর ফর ডেভেলপড আওয়ার টেলিকম সার্ভিস কোয়ালিটি So thank you, Mr. Khan. Uh, you, uh, uh, you are present here. So we are proud of you. you uh, uh, at morning, we uh, discuss uh, regarding uh, our uh, telecom uh, network and others, uh, how do we develop our quality of service. That means uninterrupt and a quality full service অব টেলিকম সেক্টর যেটা আমরা চাই এদেশের প্রত্যেকটি নাগরিক ভোগ করতে পারে এবং প্রত্যেকটি নাগরিককে আমরা ইন্টারনেট এবং ভয়েস এ দুটি দিয়েই আমরা কানেক্ট করতে চাই এদেশের সকল মানুষকে টাওয়ার শেয়ারিং রেজিমে মালিকানা হস্তান্তরের মাধ্যমে টাওয়ার শেয়ারিংয়ের একটি নতুন দ্বার উন্মোচিত হয়েছে অন্যান্য অপারেটাররাও এতে করে উৎসাহিত হবে স্মার্ট বাংলাদেশ স্মার্ট কানেকটিভিটির জন্য প্রয়োজনীয় মোবাইল নেটওয়ার্ক বিস্তৃতির ক্ষেত্রে এই মোবাইল অপারেটর ও টাওয়ার কো অপারেটরদের যৌথ প্রচেষ্টা অনেক ফলপ্রসূ হবে এবং বাংলাদেশের মতো একটি উন্নয়নশীল দেশের সীমিত রিসোর্সের অপটিমাল ব্যবহার নিশ্চিত হবে বলে আমি আশা করি আমি এই সাথে আরও আশা করব এখানে সম্ভবত আরও অপারেটরদের উচ্চ পদস্থ কর্মকর্তা এখানে উপস্থিত আছেন আমরা কিন্তু টাওয়ার শেয়ারিংটা করেছি এখনো অর্ধেকের উপরে টাওয়ার আপনারা হোল্ড করছেন আমরা চাচ্ছি এই টাওয়ারগুলো যেন শেয়ারিং হয় এবং এই টাওয়ার কিন্তু টাওয়ার কোর কাছেই থাকবে কাজী আপনারা আস্তে আস্তে এই জায়গাটায় আজকে বাংলা লিঙ্কের মতো এবং সামিটের মতো যে টাওয়ারকো কোম্পানিগুলো আছে আছেন টাওয়ার কোর মধ্যে চারটি টাওয়ারকো কোম্পানিকে আমরা লাইসেন্স দেওয়ার পরে একটি পর্যায়ে এসে সম্ভবত গত দু বছর আগে আমরা কিন্তু একটা এস এমপি করেছি টাওয়ার কোম্পানির জন্য সেই এস এমপিকে ফলো করে আপনারা টাওয়ারগুলো আজকে সামিটকে যেমন হস্তান্তর করে হস্তান্তর করেছে বাংলা লিঙ্ক আশা করি সকল নেটওয়ার্কই এ এভাবে আমি স্পেসিফিক কোনো টাওয়ার কোম্পানি বা টাওয়ার লাইসেন্সিং কোম্পানি টাওয়ার শেয়ারিং কোম্পানির কথা বলছি না 
যাদের সাথে আপনাদের অ্যাডজাস্টমেন্ট হয় সেইভাবেই আপনারা কাজ করবেন এবং আমরা একটা সবাই মিলে একটি সুন্দর নেটওয়ার্ক এ দেশে তৈরি করব এই সুন্দর সন্ধ্যায় সামিট টাওয়ারে আয়োজিত অনুষ্ঠানে সামিটকে শুভেচ্ছা জানাই এবার শুভেচ্ছা জানাই উপস্থিত সকল অতিথিদের জয় বাংলা জয় বঙ্গবন্ধু বাংলাদেশ চিরজীবী হোক লং লিভ প্রাইম মিনিস্টার শেখ হাসিনা Thank you very much, sir, for your kind remarks. Now I would like to invite Khan Terzioglu, Group CEO of Vion, and I would request him to please share his remarks. Assalamu alaikum. It's a great pleasure to be here tonight. Four years ago, I remember when I first visited Dhaka, I smelled the air, I breathed it, and it was not the pollution that took my attention. It was the future Padma bridges. It was the future airports, high elevated highways, nuclear energy centrals, and the solar energy farms that were going to be made here. What a fantastic country. What a resilience and what potential future that Bangladesh holds. That's why we made important decisions we decided to double our network and become a national operator from being a regional player. And I remember our discussions with Eric. I asked him, Eric, if we're going to make these investments, we need a world-class independent tower company with us. And today, I'm proud to say that we found that partner. Summit is a world-class independent tower company which has helped us execute our investment plans. I'm not talking about the future. We have done it together over the last four years, and we will do it again in the future. I want to thank you all. It's not only my name, Khan, that I share with very distinguished gentlemen here. It's the same values, it's the same energy, and I'm so proud to be your partner, sir. And Farida, you have done a great job. Excellent negotiator. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your speech. Now I would like to invite the honored guest of the evening, Mr. Mohammad Aziz Khan, founder, chairman of Summit Group of Companies, to share his valuable thoughts about this landmark achievement. <clears throat> wow, Khan. So I've been displaced by you. <laughs> What a wonderful evening. What a, what, what a great opportunity to be standing amongst the, such brilliant people, such brilliance. Uh, it's, a, it's a great honor, it's a great privilege to be amongst people who are moving at the speed of light. They're moving things like Bangladesh at the speed of light. Honorable Palak Bhai, thank you very much for honoring us. It's such a great honor to have you. It, it's a different dimension that you have brought under the leadership of the Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Uh, she brought in two huge policy thoughts, how to empower Bangladesh, how to empower Bangladesh's poor people, enable them to become a middle-income country. And for that, in my opinion, he, she kept two ministries in her hand. One is this ICT and the other one is power mineral MPEMR, Minister of Power, Energy and Mineral Resources. And uh, she took advice from two great advisors, Honorable Shajib Wazid and Honorable Dr. Tafiq El Ahi Chaudhary, Bir Bikram. With their advice and two brilliant, hardworking young persons to implement them. One of them is Honorable Zunayad Bhai. The other one, we do not have his presence over here, is Honorable Nasrul Hamid Bhai. So, in my opinion, this has changed Bangladesh in the last 15 years, and we really should give a huge applause. <laughs> the amazing change, I'm a senior person amongst most of you in the world now, and the amazing change that we have seen in the last 15 years is the boundless energy that has come about, has come about because the government of Bangladesh's policy of providing electricity to everybody. 
175 million people probably has access to electricity today. And then the other thought of the modern thought, the thought of the 21st century, the revolution that um, Internet of Things has brought about, Internet and telephony in every hand, that has also been achieved under the leadership of Paulo Bhai, under the leadership of advisor uh, Wazir Shahib and the Honorable Prime Minister. A big clap for them. <clears throat> I am a blessed person as a summit, as, a, as are my brothers, our directors, and for many things, among others, is the ability to join this journey, the journey that had been created by the Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, her cabinet, her government, governments now, and enabling us to be part of this process of eradicating poverty. Today, Bangladesh stands tall. Bangladesh is, tower, has, is a towering personality. It's a towering country, a country that has eradicated. 75% of the people of Bangladesh are now educated. Life expectancy has moved to 72 years. Everybody is connected with electricity. Everybody is connected with power. Uh, Mr. Khan has, had also mentioned about the airport, the road, the highways, the metros, all these things. This is amazing. This is unthinkable, unbelievable. The miraculous change that this country has gone through. On the back of these two uh, primary enablers, power and telephony and the internet. So in that, Summit Power Limited and Summit Communications Limited got the opportunity to be alongside this journey. So I'm really, really a blessed person, a, a, a blessed company, a blessed board of directors. We were also very lucky to get Arif, Arif al-Islam from Grameen Phone. We sort of stole him or snatched him away. I do not know how it is or loved him too much <laughs> that he kindly joined us. And uh, he has been a great Sherpa to take us to that summit, to that mountain top. We are blessed in that we have children uh, like Fadia who received the entrepreneurial abilities such as ours and her team, her team members, including Siddiqui, Tahmid, and Shantanu. Thank you very much. The four of you have uh, done a wonderful job. <clears throat> I, I am overwhelmed, I'm overjoyed, and I'm truly grateful to Shukur Alhamdulillah, to the Almighty Allah, and to the government of Bangladesh, to the, all the people, these approximately 400, uh, how should I say, soldiers to the path of progress, or whatever is the appropriate name, that we have been able to provide more than 20% of the country's electricity, more than 20% of the country's towers, and more than 35% of the country's internet. What a wonderful time for us. We are truly grateful to all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your kind words. Now I would request tonight's chief guest, Mr. Zunaid Ahmed Pollock, MP, to share his kind remarks. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nabila, for your kind introduction and excellent moderation. I'm really happy to celebrate BangLink and also Summit Communications for this achievement and also for their contribution in our telecom industry and also for contribution in the journey of digital Bangladesh in last 15 years of time. I would like to mention one observation in recent times, especially since 2020. We experienced COVID, then we are experiencing trade war and war between Ukraine and Russia now war situation in the Middle East, 
in this time, this is not the time to compete to each other, rather to collaborate. What Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina mentioned in her speech during the Security Council Security Summit in Munich just two days before. I'd like to also start by requesting to all of our partners, stakeholders from the private sector, you should collaborate to each other, like BangladeSh and Summit, rather to compete to each other. Because you see, in last 15 years of time, Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, under his prudent leadership and under the proper guidance of the Honorable ICT advisor, Mr. Shaji was a joy. What we have achieved, we achieved all this success in the spirit of collaboration. Let me share a few examples and success stories. Aziz Khan Bhai shared the journey for providing electricity to all. That was the promise of Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina 15 years back when she declared her vision 2021 when we celebrated our 50 years of independence, she wanted to provide access to electricity to all of our citizens, what was the dream of our founding father of the nation, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Can you imagine 52 years back when Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman gave us the constitution, in the constitution, 52 years back, Bangabundu ensured the demand of the citizens for getting electricity 52 years back. That was his dream. Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman laid down the foundation of a golden Bengal, which is the modern version, Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina declared, digital Bangladesh. Bangabundu decided to have membership of International Telecommunication Union back in 1973. He decided to have partnership, company like Siemens, in 1973, and that is why Bangabundu established TSS, that is Telephone Shilpo Shangstha. Bangabundu decided to establish satellite earth station back in 1975. With his foresightness, he anticipated that the future lies on science and communication technology. But bad luck that Bangabundu didn't able to continue his journey. I would like to pay my deep respect to Father of the Nation, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, and all the martyrs in our language movement, in our liberation war. I just want to share that how all these achievements happened only in short period of time in just 15 years of time. Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina always says that government should not do the business. Government should create business-friendly environment. When she took the responsibility of Prime Minister's portfolio back in 1996, she broke the monopoly of mobile telephone industry. You know, back in 1998, there was one, on, one and only mobile network operator in our country. And she broke the monopoly. 
She opened up this telephone industry. And that is why we have four mobile operators. She opened up the industry, and I would say BangalaLink opened up the competition. And that is why now we are getting very competitive price, and we are enjoying high-speed internet in a competitive price. We are enjoying voice calls in a competitive price. BTRC played a very smart role for balancing the market. And Honorable ICT Advisor, Mr. Shojib was a joy, has been guiding us for creating more opportunities for our private sector business leaders. And that is why we have achieved near about 80% internet penetration and 104% telephone penetration. We have 130 million internet users now, which was only near about 5 million 15 years back. Because the price was so high, like for one Mbps internet bandwidth, it cost near about $1,000. Can you imagine? Now it's less than $1 per Mbps. It was not available outside of Dhaka. There was no broadband connectivity outside of Dhaka, I'm talking only 15 years back. But Honorable ICT Advisor, Mr. Shaji was a joy, guided us to make internet available, affordable, and also aware people why and how they should use internet. And by taking all these initiatives in public-private partnership strategy, we have been able to provide broadband connectivity up to the village level. In all of our 4,500 union digital centers, are now connected with fiber optical fixed broadband connectivity. And we are really happy to have partner like Summit Communication in this journey because we invested to build the initial digital infrastructure and we have successfully completed our partnership process and mechanism with two different companies so that in next 20 years of time, they will be able to replace all the equipments, they will maintain, monitor, and provide the high quality services to the subscribers. And government will have the revenue share. And that is the model how we are trying to make all of our government projects and organizations and companies sustainable, profitable, and also we would like to ensure the maximum proper utilization of citizens' money. I would like to appreciate the acquisition process for acquiring this 2,200 towers with this huge number of towers, Summit Communications will be able to provide much more quality services to the mobile network operators. At the same time, I would like to also request Mr. Khan, Group CEO of Vion, for considering Bangladesh as their next investment destination. Because we are the country of 170 million people, we are the country of 130 million internet subscribers, and we are the eighth largest telecom industry in the world. You have the opportunity to establish world-class tier four certified data center. You have the opportunity to introduce more and more digital solutions and services like 
toffee and other digital products. At the same time, there is a huge potential for internet-based solutions and products in education, health, entertainment, and so on. We are really thankful to our local CEO of Bangladesh, Eric Os, for continuously uh, he is working in this sector and developing Bangalink and different solutions. We are also grateful to Mr. Augie Favela, the founder of Vion, for supporting us to establish our first ICT division Bangalink business incubation center inaugurated by Honorable ICT advisor Shojiba Joy five years back, seven years back and for their continuous support. So I'd like to conclude here by inviting all of you to join in our new mission to achieve Vision 2041 for building Smart Bangladesh. Based on four pillars, we would like to develop our next generations as smart generation. We would like to develop a cashless, interconnected, smart economy. At the same time, we'd like to provide paperless, automated, smart government services and the dream of Bangabundhu, uh, inclusive, an inclusive, smart society for all by 2041. Be innovative, and smart, joy Bangla, joy Bangabundhu. Thank you very much, sir, for your valuable speech. Now I would request Mr. Mohammad Farid Khan, Chairman of Summit Communications Limited, to share his kind view. Assalamu alaikum and good evening. Uh, after a speech from Paulik Bhai and the distinguished guest, I think I have to keep stuttering. I mean, I can't be any better than them, however. Uh, thank you very much, honorable guests, for being here on this occasion. I am very happy to, and my heartfelt gratitude to all of you for being here, especially the regulators, uh, the bankers who have supported us in, do, in celebrating this celebration, because without their support, probably would not have been able to acquire these towers. I would like to... I would like to sincerely express my appreciation to our smart minister, Junaid Ahmed Palo, who has forced us to be smarter, and uh, uh, he is an icon by himself now. And my mentor, my elder brother, our group chair, Mr. Aziz Khan, who uh, had, the confident, had the confidence to give me the job to look after Summit Tower and Summit Communications. I thank you for that. My special thanks to the Honorable Secretary, the Chairman, and my good friend, Khan, who has been uh, extremely helpful in concluding the deal. He, he uh, rolled up his sleeves to conclude it, and I know it was, we did it very fast, considering the number of towers and, uh, and, the, and the deal itself. But um, with permission of Paulik Bhai, I would like to call on Fadia with me here, because uh, she had been very helpful. Uh, just to stand by me, you know, she had been a, a, a pillar with me always. I also thank my team, uh, especially Arif al Islam, Arif Bhai, and Shantanu, Siddiqui, and um, Tamid. Also, the, uh, also my uh, Nasim, Nasim and Farhad, all of you. Thank you very much. It has been a great journey together to conclude this deal. And um, all my dedicated team, the workers, I actually call them the tower fighters. Uh, they, they really climbed very high to make, build these towers. So I, I uh, also congratulate and thank all of you. Uh, would you like to say something? Huh? Well, you know, uh, thank you everyone for being here today. Um, it, uh, it's very humbling for me to have such great persons acknowledge me and uh, appreciate me. So really thank you for paving the way and teaching us uh, how to take on responsibilities and Really, I hope that uh, we can take Summit Communications Group much further and do greater things for Bangladesh. So to uh, conclude, I 
wish to con uh, continue the friendship with uh, Bangla Link and go into more towering successes in future and build more towers together. And thank you very much for all of you. Thank you very much for joining us and appreciating us and encouraging us. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, as we move forward, I would like to thank our honorable speakers for sharing their insights and remarks with us. Can we have a huge round of applause, please? Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a memorable moment. We kindly request the CEO of Bangla Link and the esteemed directors of Summit Group to join our distinguished guests on stage for a quick group photo. Thank you. 